What up guys, Adrian from your motorcycle. Quick video showing you how to tow a Harley Davidson Sportster the proper way that won't put any premature wear on your motorcycle. I'll show you what I'm using and why I do everything that I do. So first thing to note, I'm using endless loop ratchet straps, not regular ratchet straps. Endless loops are great because you can have a little bit of play in there and not worry about hooks that are gonna come loose if there is some play and some bouncing around. With the endless loop, it is a closed circle, so your bike can never get unstrapped. Second thing I'll point out, I'm not going up to the forks or doing anything that can compress your suspension. Your forks, they're a bitch when you have to place the seals. You don't want to wear this out prematurely. I strap beneath the suspension so that way your suspension can still go over bumps up and down just fine. Your bike's going to basically handle as if it normally always would because you're not putting undue pressure on your suspension for no reason. So a little bit of lateral side to side. Strapping when you're doing this, you want to get as close to a 45 degree angle as you can. So this is not ideal, but still pretty good. Same thing on both sides, keeping it forward into the wheel chalk and stopping it from going to one side and stopping it from going to the other side. Now, we use not one, not two, not three, but four straps. And I'll get to that in one sec. First, let me show you what I did on this side. Back in, you find a piece of frame. You make sure that you're not gonna be putting any pressure on any hoses or anything like that. So there's no hoses above, there's no cables or connectors underneath. Run your hand fur through first, make sure it's all good. Boom, strap this down again. Pretty much as close to a 45 degree angle as we can. The reason why we do one strap on each side and not uh, just two in the front, one in the back, you wanna make sure that you're protecting from any lateral movement. So if I'm taking an on-ramp really, really quickly or an off-ramp on the highway or if I have to do a quick evasive maneuver, what's gonna happen if the front is planted but the back isn't, this can fishtail off to the side. It can hit the side of your trailer. It can scratch up your exhaust pipes, you don't want that to happen. Speaking of exhaust pipes, finding a place to tow on a sporty that doesn't put undue pressure on your pipes is a little bit trickier. You can go through the uh, rotor if you want to, through the around the axle if you can. Personally, I just keep it nice and easy. Pipes are hard to get around and everyone's different, so just for the sake of simplicity for this video, boom. We went to, there's a part of the front frame here where you just go around any hoses and cables, tie this down, and again, that's to stop any lateral movement at the back, any fishtailing basically, that could damage the side of your side of your sporty inside a trailer. As for what to do with the slack, hopefully I can set this up, set up the camera in a way I can show you guys. So here's how we do it. Got a lot of slack here, and what can happen is if you leave the slack exposed, it can flop around, it can damage your paint, or it can pull the whole bike over if it gets caught in something. So we don't want that. We want it to be nice and neat, just like this. When you have this, the slack like this, it, it its own weight is what's keeping it from getting unraveled. So you're gonna take that, you're gonna wrap it up. Circle, 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 circle. Keep it nice and tight. Keep circling. Now, usually I'd have a little bit less slack than this, but I gotta kind of limited with where I can keep the camera, so I'll just show you. Reach through here, make a new circle, pinch it through. Okay, kind of a noose. Now I reach through my new circle, grab my original, pull it down. That's what we're left with. Nice and neat and tidy. So a couple things to note, um, when you have brand new straps, they do stretch a bit, so I'd say drive five minutes, make sure they're still nice and firm and tight in place. Then 10 minutes, check them again. 20 minutes, check them again. 40 minutes, and so on. Once you've gone a couple hours and you're okay, you should be all right. If you aren't using endless loops and you are using ratchet straps, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get that much more tight. With the endless loop, you have the luxury of being able to do this. See how I can have that much play? The whole bike's wiggling, but it's never gonna come over. If you have too much play on just a hook, you're kinda of SOL. So, endless loop keeps it nice and safe. You can rock that, you can lean that, you can weigh your whole body into it, and this thing is not moving. Please do not tow from the front end. Do not put premature wear and tear on your front forks. It's There's no reason to do that. It's really not necessary. This is more than enough downwards pressure. This is meant to take the whole front end's weight if you're heavy braking, so you're not gonna do any damage to this. This is thick, this is made for encountering resistance. Don't worry about that. Always go from the frame. If you can, try and go below the suspension. So that's why swing arm is a great place. Frame is a great place. If you go above the suspension again, you're gonna be compressing that fork. And then if you go over a bump and it's bouncing, you could have slack, could come loose if you're not losing an endless loop. If you're just using a hook, suspension goes down, hook comes off.
So keep it clean, keep it simple, use endless loop straps, and uh, that's it. Ride safe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. If you liked this video, if you found it helpful, please hit the like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.